what's good what's good so today i'm back with another video we're gonna make this one short and sweet and i'm gonna talk about how you set up your aggregate device inside of mac so recently i bought a universal audio x6 i loved it everything sound good coming through it vocal wise but to me conversion wise it, it wasn't on par with my rme baby face and you got to think like this is a two thousand dollar audio interface you know what i'm saying so as far as conversion goes i wouldn't lean towards uad when it comes to playback and all of that so this is the x6 right here now i love the unison plugins you get and i love the way vocals sound coming through there like something about that line in sound with the universal audio i can understand why people love that for vocals but as far as uh playback conversion and all that i would i would steer somewhere else maybe an apogee maybe even an inbox from avid or something like i like the sound of those but the rme babyface still one of the best converters out there and you know that their top tier converter is probably one of the best one out on the market right now and i was and let me show you how i set this aggregate device up because it was pretty simple let me get to it so if we go inside if your audio you go into utilities and go inside of your audio MIDI setup, let me show you how I got this set up. So you can see this is my new aggregate device, which is acting as a interface combining two interfaces together. All right. So set up with this, you can see I have the clock source. Okay. Yeah. So I got the clock source as the, as the baby face. So what that means is you want to get all of your playback through the baby face, right? So combining these two together, I get all of the inputs and outputs. And after you do that, you're gonna wanna set it up. So you, basically you'll come over here and you do plus, you add your thing, you know what I'm saying? Make it, name it what you wanna name it. And then you'll go through all of your plugged in devices or virtual devices. You got, you know what I'm saying? Like you got the T, I got my TV, um, baby face universal audio you can add whatever right so okay let me show you how i set this up inside of pro tools so inside of pro tools you can see right here this is my mic coming in from the booth so what you hear me through the baby face if i go to my baby face let's bring that up where you, where where we are where are we here we go so if we go to the baby face uh total mix you can see i'm coming in right here this is me recording in now i don't know if i could have this same like i feel like i love the cleaner sound because i'm using the warm audio 73 the 73 eq i'm using that as my main uh let, let's just say preamp i got but it's, it's it's almost like a channel strip because it has an insert so i'm inserting my heritage audio tube system through that coming out so inside of the baby face you can bypass you can bypass the preamp totally right now with the universal audio you cannot bypass the actual mic pre or the line in gain or whatever you want to call it you can't bypass that but it what which kind of is a good thing because it kind to me it cleans up the mic it cleans up um the vocals a little bit like it cleans it up so you can get a great like I don't know it's just i just like the sound of that more than just going straight in um without using the preamp at all on the baby face if that makes sense now i didn't never i never tried to actually do that same method with the baby face and to clean it up a little bit you know what i'm saying because you can hear me coming through here like it sound pretty clean right but i do like the fact that you get the unison plugins with uad right so right now i'm using the ssl i like the sound of this i like the you know i i did go to school we we use ssl we use neve so i just like the that console sound you know now i don't know how accurate it is but it's it sounds pretty good like i said it just anything coming through there just cleans it up a lot so you have those and then you know you can come in and um you can pick whatever plugin you want to use. You can monitor that or you can record it in. You know how the universal audio thing goes. Now, another problem I had 
was um the actual software outputs. Now it's a it's a workaround, uh, and I I will link. It's a workaround, and I'll link the video that I use to actually set it up the virtual tracks. And with the virtual tracks, you can have those outputs be from the your DAW, or you can have it be from your actual computer. It but it's not standard though, like like the baby face is. So if you have the baby face, all of that is already set up. Like you can see right here, this is my monitoring through Pro Tools. And I can go through here and pick whatever output I want. So one and two would be to the monitors out, and then three and four, that would be to my headphone. Now I will say one thing too, you get two separate outputs for headphones on the, on the UAD, which is good. And I like the fact that you can, you know, have two separate ones, but I also like to hear what my artist is hearing in the booth, but you can link with the UAD. You can actually link the two headphones to one output so you can hear what they're hearing, which is cool too. So, but yeah, the only thing I really didn't like about this was having to set up these virtual tracks. It, it didn't take long, but just having to go through the, having to do the fact that you had to do that yourself. I didn't like that. It's already uh, built into the RME Babyface your software outputs, which makes recording in a lot easier, in my opinion. Right? So this, this wasn't really hard to do. But yeah, let me show you how I did this inside of Pro Tools, how I set this up. That was simple too. So after we set up our aggregate device, you want to go inside of Pro Tools and then go to Bus up here at the top, right? So, you can see, this is where I monitor through. So, analog one and two, this would be your monitor where you would hear um, your output uh, analog one and two. This is out of, out of Pro Tools, though. This is not your interface. This is analog one and two from Pro Tools, right? So, I have that coming through analog one and two. Now, if I had it coming through MUN, the, like the MUN left and right, this would be the universe audio. Okay, so that's how I have it so I can hear, I can monitor through the baby face since we got that set up in our aggregate device, right? So now this is my vocals coming in right here, but this is actually coming through, this is actually coming through the U UAD. So all you had to do since I got those two combined and it's, I will link that video too. So it's a tutorial and it'll show you how to go through and rename all of these inputs and outputs. So you know what, um, which helps with actually setting up this aggregate device because you can have two different names. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't want things coming in with the same name that it'll be from one interface to the next. So right here, if we go to interface, you can see I renamed this to UAD. So we got the UAD one and two, which is, is going to be left and right pretty much. If you wanted to do it like that, but basically these are mono inputs, so you got all six right there, and then you got the ADAS and all that. That's all universe audio. This is all universe audio. You, you can see my software left and right. This is what I made software left and right. And you can do all of that, you know what I'm saying? You can pick all of in any of those you want. So we got mic line one and two. This would be my baby face, so we're not using it at all. We're going to get those good, clean sounding vocals through the UAD. So yeah, quick, simple, easy video. And it's a great way. Just say if you wanted to buy a PreSonus Quantum and you get all those effects, well not effects, let me just say you get all those inputs and outputs for like $900, which is like $1,000 for their biggest one. And I think it probably got like 16 outputs on it, inputs and outputs on it, something like that. It's a lot on there. Like you want to use that, cause I uh, I like the sound of their pre's too. Like the sound of the pre's on in the pre sonus sound good, but I wouldn't gear I, I wouldn't go towards them as far as conversion either. It's not it's not that bad, but I wouldn't go towards them. Like you you really want to get you a great sound converter. You you can. So I say yeah, Apogee, um, baby, uh, Army, Apogee Army, Avid would be my like top three that's not that expensive like after that uh you you're gonna start getting into the like if you want helix if you're going uh 
um, prism and all of that, yeah, you're going to start getting up there to get a good sound and converter. Like, if you want a great sound and converter that won't break the bank, RME, Apogee. RME, Apogee, and Avid will be my top three. All right, so yeah, quick, simple, easy video for y'all today. I don't want to make it too long. And it's great that Mac gives you this option to set up these two interfaces because you can really save a lot of money. You go out and get you a used, say you go out and get you a used uh, Apogee Duet 3, or you get you a uh, a used Babyface or something, and, and get you an expansion with a, just say you want to use a, a, a focus right clear it or you want to use a focus right red uh not the red but the like the two not the two i two was it the uh scarlet like if you want to use the scarlet line because you know i hate i really hated the conversion on this on those two now they have got better with the new versions i will say that but i still wouldn't prefer that sound but you could get like a the scarlet get a big one and get all those inputs and outputs and use something like your baby face to get the great conversion, which is the, the best of both worlds, because I do like the the preamps on the uh, Scarlet line. I just don't like the conversion on it, which which hell it really holds a lot of these interfaces back. And once you get that sound, it's it's, it's gonna be really hard to go to anything else, especially something like RME, which is top tier RME and Apogee for real. That's gonna be like your top tier conversion sound. But yeah, it's a good way. And I got mine used. I got my UAD used for a great price. That's the only reason I get it because if, if not, if I was going and I was going to spend 2000 on an interface, I would just get the uh, UF, UFX3. I think that's what it is. U, UCF? UFX. No, it's UFX3. Yeah, I would get that from RME to get more expansion out. But yeah, all right. Let me get up out of here. I appreciate y'all. I'll be back with another video. Let's go.